Hi, my name is David Reagan, Gretch RV. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to set up your Wi-Fi for your television, as long as you have Wi-Fi signal, and also um, how to mirror your um, mobile device, such as a cell phone, to your television. The first things you're going to need is your television remote and obviously power to your unit. Get your remote control. Go ahead and let's power up the television by pushing the power button. The television is going to start up. This TV we already did an update on, so I will show you how to do an update also after you hook up to your Wi-Fi. So the first things that you want to do is push the star icon here or the gear or the menu icon, whatever you want to call it there. So push that icon and it's going to bring up the menu. Scroll down on the menu to all settings on the, on the page where it says all settings and then push the OK button. That's going to pull up the settings menu here. And what we want to do is we want to scroll down to the network. So if you scroll down with your cursor on your remote to network and then push the OK button, it goes over to network. So what's going to happen is it's going to pull up networks that is close to you that is available. Um, for example, we are in the network for Gretsch Motors here. So I'm going to select that network and it's locked. I'm going to have to put in the pin number or the security code for that so let me do that real quick okay once you got your password in the system there once you selected your network installed your password go ahead and push the connect button by pushing the okay once you have it lit up and then the TV will link to that Wi-Fi network once you are success successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network then you can go down to the system and do an update in a lot of the televisions when you actually do that it will automatically prompt you to do an update and you want to do that so okay so for checking for system updates make sure that we get into the menu once again all settings go down to ad admin and privacy click ok and then go down to check for updates. So scroll down for check, check for updates, push OK. And then it'll prompt you yes or no. We're going to go yes. Go ahead and check for update. And we'll wait for the hourglass. This is checking for updates. It says please do not power off your TV or switch inputs. So we're going to leave it do its thing here. And remember, this is only going to happen if you're connected up to a Wi-Fi system. So if you try to do this and you're not connected to Wi-Fi, this is not going to work. So if you're at your house, for example, and you have good signal to your house Wi-Fi, go ahead and connect up to your home Wi-Fi there, put in your password, and then you can do all these processes here. Um, if you're out on the road and you have no access to Wi-Fi signal, then this is not going to work for you. You're not going to have any streaming capability from any of the networks or anything like that for like network uh, Netflix or Hulu or any of that stuff and none of that stuff is going to work um, if you're not connected to Wi-Fi so this TV we already did an update um, so that's why it's not prompting me to actually do that um, if your television needs to have an update then it will prompt you and go ahead and do those updates okay um, so we're going to go back into the menus by here by pushing the gear icon again on the remote control and then go down to all settings and our network is actually on Gretsch Motors now so your network can be whatever you want to select to there and we already checked for um, any of the updates so those are good the next step is t antenna channels so go ahead and scroll down to antenna channels push OK and then what you're going to want to do is find channels. So when you find channels, um, it's going to update the television and to any specific television station channels that are available in your area that you are currently in. So remember, if you move your vehicle from one camp to the camp in another area, those TV channels may not be the same. So you're going to have to do fine channels on this to update your television for the available channels that are in your area at that point. If you actually are plugged into a park cable, so you're camping at a park and you hooked up your external cable from the park, what you're going to want to do is go down and you move this cursor down to find more channels. 
This find more channels selection is going to allow the television to find the channels that are coming in on the park cable. These are different than the digital channels that you're going to get over the air from your antenna that's on the roof. Um, so if you go through find channels and you're not picking anything up when you're uh, plugged into the park cable, go ahead and go to find more channels and it should pick those channels up without an issue. The next step, if you want to change your input, for example, there's an input button up on the top left hand corner of this remote. If you push your input button, it's going to give you a listing of all the available inputs to this television. So watch free is only available whenever you hooked up to Wi-Fi. The JBL is actually your sound bar, so there's no option there. The next one is HDMI 2, which is going to be your DVD player, your antenna for over the air composite we're not using that and then the next one is airplay so we're going to go down go ahead and go down and select airplay okay so if you select airplay it's going to give you how to use airplay um, go ahead and push that and it'll explain to you how the airplay actually works on your television so you got to make sure that you're on the same wi-fi ethernet or ether wi-fi or ethernet connection so if you're not on the same wi-fi or ethernet connection um then this television is not going to be able to use airplay for example from your cell phone so if your cell phone is hooked up to the same if your cell phone is hooked up to the same ethernet or wi-fi connection so in the for this example it's going to have to be hooked up to the same wi-fi system we don't have ethernet connection unless you have for example if you put a Starlink on your unit or you have a different type of uh, Wi-Fi router in there and you hook up a Ethernet cable then you can do via Ethernet but in, for this example it's going to be only Wi-Fi so for example I'm on the same Wi-Fi system here on my phone that we are on um, Gretsch motor so I can go here to screen mirroring and it will pick up the television I marked this one actually living room so I can actually go to living room here and it will ask me for the code that comes up on the screen there so if I put in 8934 8934 and that's going to be specific to your system every single time this not that exact number on yours it's going to come up with the number on the television make sure you put that in there and push okay and then we'll actually at that point screen mirror from your television to, or I mean from your phone device to your TV. So remember that is only going to work if you're hooked up to the same Wi-Fi network. Um, if you're not hooked up to the same Wi-Fi network, it's not going to work for you. So just keep that in mind, okay? If you are having problems with your television and it is not hooking up to your Wi-Fi system and you cannot seem to get the television stations to actually search for TV stations and all that stuff and you're having some intermittent issues on your TV, go ahead and go to this the um, settings page here and go down to all settings and we're going to do a factory reset on the TV. So that area there, you got to go down to administration and privacy push OK and then in this section it'll say reset to factory settings right there you got to remember when you do this reset to factory settings if you had this television hooked up to a Wi-Fi system like say for example your house when you do this reset it's gonna wipe all that out and you're gonna have to reset all that information into the TV but in some cases you need to do a factory reset to reset the TV back to the factory settings and reset the TV up because sometimes it will not work properly. So we're going to do a reset TV on here and it takes a few minutes for it to do it. And once it does, then you can go ahead and turn the power back on on the TV and then reset up your Wi-Fi network. And at that point, everything should work properly.